guys what up it's Ray here and today I want to talk about how basically pretty much you guys can tell by the title it says bigger HDTVs are not good for COD or not better for COD or something like that when basically HDTVs the bigger the HDTV is the worse it's gonna be and a lot of, especially for gaming a lot of people don't know this they think the bigger HDTV they got, the more pixels they get to see, which is cool. It means higher definition, you know, you get to see more clear and everything. But, the reason why they're not good is because, think of it this way. I got a 26-inch 26, 26 Dynex TV. My brother has a 42-inch HDTV, alright? I'm not exactly sure what brand it is, that's why I just called it an HDTV, but... You will see when he plays, if you would actually look, okay, me, it takes me one second to scan the screen, which scanning means to look from the left to the right, all right, across the entire screen, which is what you have to do in most games, you know, Call of Duty, Battlefield 3, you name it, you have to do it in that game, scan from left and right, you know, as long as you're playing multiple, you gotta, you gotta look left, you gotta look right. Mine, being a 26 inch, all you gotta do is look, look right at it and you can actually see the full picture. Now, the problem with his is that the 42 inch HCTV is nice and all, it's nice to have, but he ha it takes him so long to look from the left to the right side of the screen on his TV. And it's just really a, a downfall and... You know, me personally, I would say that a 26 inch would probably be your best bet. I mean, 26, 30 inch would probably be, you know, your your best bet as in a TV. And a lot of people say get a 42 inch because it'll last you longer. Well, I mean, if it it's gonna cost you some some time to get used to it, and my brother is used to the TV, but. It still causes him to die a lot of times because he's got to look from the left to the right. It's Take this for an example. I'm not sure what gameplay I'll be showing, you know, in the background of this. But, you know, say, take this for an example. You're standing in the middle, alright? You're standing in the middle. And there's a guy that approaches from the left, alright? You move over to the left and shoot that guy. But there's also a guy that, uh, that approaches from the right. Now... You know, if you if you're on a smaller TV, you'll be able to see them faster because obviously you can actually see the TV. However, if you have a 42-inch HDTV and or higher or something like that, and you actually have it hung up on the wall, it may take you a bit more, a couple more milliseconds or seconds to actually look over to the right to notice it, and that can actually get you to die a lot of times in Call of Duty, Halo, Battlefield, you name it, it'll get you to die a lot. And that's one of the main downfalls to why my brother actually, you know, my brother won, wanted the, the TV because he was like, oh, well, it's, it's really cool. I'm on a 42-inch TV. You know, it's really cool and all, and he's got HDMI, which is great, but unfortunately, <coughs> it takes him a long time to look from left to right-hand side of the screen. So you basically have to skim or scan the screen to left to right. And me, personally, I just, I I still have to scan the screen from left to right, but it's so quick. Like, it's like, freaking like, 18 milliseconds. You know, it's not, it's not that difficult to actually, you know, look left to right on my TV. However, the way he has it set up is it's, his TV is upwards, and it's pointed down toward him. So he's got to look left to right, and it takes him about a second to two seconds to actually look to the right of the TV or so. Well, I wouldn't say seconds, but about like, um, like mine would take me like 18 milliseconds to look left, right, and I see the edge of the screen. You know, you look left and then to the right, and you see the edge of the TV. Him, it takes him looking from the left side of the screen to the right. It'll probably take him around 45 milliseconds, which is definitely a bigger drop down than me. So, in a way, you could put it this way: if you were playing you ever this is this is something you should you should actually wonder 
You ever wonder why MLG events don't have different size TVs? Such as like one dude has a 25 inch TV, the other dude has like a 40 inch, and the other dude has like a 50 inch. Well that's, that's mainly one of the reasons why. They want to make it so, you know, it doesn't take a long time to look across the screen. And also that'd be giving the other players a disadvantage. Think about it. So, me, if you would actually get in a, a gunfight, you know, me and my brother would actually get in a gunfight. I'm not saying every time we would win it, but most likely, if he was looking left and I came from the right side, and it takes him, you know, just milliseconds, only milliseconds, which is very difficult to notice, but it takes him a bit of a while to look to the right of the screen, because he's got to skim the left going from the left to the middle and then to the right and then same way for the opposite direction all right well he's got to make sure the left side is clear he's got to make sure the middle is clear and he's got to make sure you know that I'm over to the right me like I said with with my TV I just look at it and there's left middle right all right it's not that my TV is not that big so all I gotta do is just look at the screen and the center of the screen and basically, wherever my crosshair is, I can see the left and the right of it. His is not that way. His is where there's the crosshair, and then it's the TV is actually, you know, 42 inch, so you get the left and right hand side of the screen. So basically, when he looks at the crosshairs, all he's seeing is his crosshairs. That's it, in the middle part of the screen. All right? And he's got to look right and left, you know? So, in a way, if you really think about it, HD TVs are not improving your gameplay any better. Actually, they're making it pretty worse. So if you actually really think about it, it's not that much of a big difference. But, you know, it takes me about 18 milliseconds to actually... You don't even have to s scan or skim my screen at all. You just look right where the crosshair is for the gun, and you can see the left and right hand side of the screen. But like I said, with bigger TVs, you look where the crosshair is, and you actually have to look over left, you know, just like glance over there like for you know like however long it takes and over to the right when for me I can already see you so I mean I'm not saying you'll win every gunfight if you have a smaller HDTV but it's just it it takes you less time to look over stuff so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I just thought I'd let you guys know this because a lot of people will spend money on bigger screen TVs thinking it'll improve their gameplay when in fact they should actually be buying I'm not saying you should be buying a smaller TV well I just kind of did right there but I'm going to counteract that but like you should be buying a good enough size TV don't go too too much don't go too little you know good enough size to me 26 inch and and up to 30 is is you know 26 inch up to 40 is good enough you know anything in the 20 and 30 range is good for you you know as long as you can set it down so that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully the commentary wasn't too derpy i've actually been up all night so i'm kind of tired but i had to get this video done so i can actually put it together and get it rendered out and stuff so thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will catch you guys later. Let me know what you think in the comment section below.